Hey everybody, welcome to Craig's Beer Reviews today. Look at all these delicious beers, I'm sure. Uh, just got this beer mail package from my beer brother Greg and his brother Adam. Uh, they send me beers from uh, their neck of the woods, the uh, Trillium and Tree Houses. I get a lot of them. I think every one of these are, are tree house beers that were picked up at the brewery by either him or his, and his brother. Uh, so let's get on with that. We're not going to go into a, a lot of detail here on these. We will get into more of that when we do the reviews. So we're going to start here on the end. This is Tree Houses Blue. And uh, he's telling me that. Uh, this is the oldest one in the package in order to have it first. And we'll get into what they are and ABVs and all that stuff when we review them. The second one here is Vivid. He said, like saturated uh, before, this has some real fruits in the mash. Another the one he's been holding to a while, building out the package. So I'll, I'll be checking the dates on these and doing the oldest ones first. The next one here is Pop Art. He said it's one of their new porters. The next one here is Moment of Clarity, a top-notch stout rated number 134 on Beer Advocate's top 250 list. So, uh, that ought to be tasty. Uh, I don't, everything we get from Treehouse is usually pretty damn tasty. Alright, the next one's in a bottle here, guys. This is uh, Permanence. He said it was his favorite one in this package. And he says, I hope I like maple. So, usually when you see a uh, treehouse doing something in a bottle, it's usually a little spe more special. Alright, the next one here is Outlier. Treehouse makes a cold star beer. Do you have a stained glass? Yeah, but I don't use it too much, Greg, because that glass pours a monster head every time I use it. So, uh, the next one here is Futurism. A new honey porter that he hasn't even tried yet, so... We're going to find out. Alright, the next one is fudge. And it's got a lady, looks like she's whipping up some fudge there. He says, one of the chocolatiest beers he's ever had. Sounds tasty. The next one here is hedonic adaptation. He says he hasn't tried this one. They feel this as a liquid mounds bar. Or those candy bar beers are really, really tasty. Says I don't get to eat candy too much anymore. Alright, the next one here is Fleeting Moment, and he says it's a solid, another solid milk stout. So we got some variety here, and not just IPAs and double IPAs, we got some porters and stouts in this package. Uh, the next one here is Sense of Wonder, yet another on their expanding list of stouts. He says he hasn't tried this one yet either, so uh, uh, we're going to find out guys. The next one here, uh, the Beneficiaries of Chance. He says he calls this a Lauren beer, one of the ones the head brewer has dedicated to his wife. And we've done one other one, I think, that uh, was made for his wife. And the last one here is I Have Promises to Keep, and he's saying it's another Lauren beer. So we'll get into more of the ABVs and the styles and all that kind of good stuff when we uh, when we do the reviews on these guys, but a big whopping beer mail package from Greg and his brother Adam, so we need to get them into the fridge, guys. Speaking of the fridge, let's go see what's in the fridge today.